Bienvenidos a Fit Rockstar. Soy Susana Jacobs y aquí es Isabel. On this episode of Fit Rockstar Show, we have with us the beautiful blonde bombshell buff Wings of Strength brand ambassador Susana Jacobs, all the way from LA? Los Angeles. Los Angeles. <laughs> Yay. Thank you for coming out. Was it a long flight? No, it was quick. It was quick. Up and it was down. an hour? Uh, about, yeah, like an hour. Like basically, I only got one pee in. Did you train today? Um, no, I planned today to be a non training day, but I got up at Ooh. five and did cardio. You did? All right. Yeah. How was the makeup artist? Good? She's wonderful. Good. Yeah, she's, she's awesome. quick. She, yeah, she's, yeah. she's efficient. She got me done in 20 minutes. By the way, you look like Catwoman today. I do. I'm Is that what you're a, trying to go for I'm here? I'm missing a tail, but. Um, and, I'm little, and, this, and the mask. And the mask. But yeah, I was feeling. You know, well, you know what it is when you're like in shape and you start to like lose your butt, you kind of are stuck with like, um, like jumpsuits, right. sundresses. There's like certain things that work. So I kind of figured that certain things that work, everything yeah. works. Well, tight have... stuff works, but like, you know. Listen, you can even wear a trash bag. You still look hot in it. Okay, cool. I, th- I mean, I think so. Right? Maybe, Some heels maybe that's what bag? we can do later. Is oh, we can find a trash actually... bag and we can try to make. Sexy trash bags. That would be a fun skit. Okay, cool. It would. See? So, I, I, I want to play something for you, and I, I just want to start with this because I'm interested to know your thoughts of what this means to you. Are you familiar with that? Not yet, but I'm... Um... What? Are you serious? You don't know what this is. I feel like really? I'm supposed to. You do not know what that music is. Not to worry about the lyrics, but... This is the Olympia. No. This is the theme music of the Olympia. How do I not Every know? time when it starts, they always play that. Is it because I'm... That's the, every is it because I haven't been... But you've watched the Olympia. I have watched the Olympia, but you, you know... No, I've, oh I've been... God. I've attended the Olympia in person, but I, I've never been on time. <laughs> God damn it, you know, you know I'm not on time now. Now, I my whole thing going into this was what does that mean to you when you uh, hear the Olympia? You had like music? a perfect thing and I, I fucking dropped the ball. She didn't know what the Olympia oh, it's okay. That's all right. It's all right. I you know what? I'm, you're low carbon, you didn't know. I mean you probably No, I mean I've I've never you know you said That is like the thing, like when you hear that music playing and you're at the Olympia, it's like all right, this is it. First of all, as we know, I haven't competed. You in, haven't, and but I you've have. watched it. Yes, I have. Yeah. And I've been person. Now. Late. <laughs> I'm bringing this up because I'm very excited for you. Because okay. I know, look, you, you took off last year, right? I did. Right. Why? Because you were focused on your school and... The main, the main reason um, was school. And, uh, and I think I just was a little burnt out from back-to-back two years in a row, just... You know, a couple, six shows or whatever. So uh, that year that you took off, you dealt with COVID. Now, yeah. did you deal with it like everybody? You know, you're from California. Did you deal with it like everybody else? Uh, well, I are mean, you luckier? Um, lucky in that I stayed employed. So I guess uh, not so lucky in that didn't really, you know, I mean, it's pretty strict in Los Angeles. So it wasn't like I had, you know, we were pretty much stuck inside. But um, so... I was a teacher, and um, that all went to online. So it ended up being like a lot more work than I anticipated. Because the thing is, if when you go in person, it's like here's the end of the day, sure. I'm done. When it's online and there's teenagers, they're like doing their crap late at night. So they're basically blowing up your phone like oh. around the clock. And then I have a four year old, so she's she, beautiful, by the way. Thank you. I I can't take too much credit. She's for a that, beautiful but. angel. She is a beautiful angel, mm-hmm. but you know you have a four-year-old, and sure. they're supposed to be online. So you're right. doing a live lesson while you have a little one that needs a live lesson, um, and then my classes were from like six to ten at night uh, online. So it wow. was just a matter of like being like a non-stop staring at a computer screen all day. Oh, that had to be brutal on your eyes. Did you it, like take breaks? I and got stuff? those those corny glasses on Amazon. They're like blue light glasses. I don't even know if that's a gimmick. I've never seen them. So I posted like on Instagram asking people if they were like gimmicky or if it works and most people I mean it could just be 
you know, in their head, but they said that they worked. Mm. And I would wear those things and just mm. stare at the screen. I all wish day. you would have brought them. I would love to have seen these glasses. Cause you know what? I, I didn't. I did bring um, my Make It Rain gun, but I didn't remember. The Make It Rain gun. <laughs> but I didn't remember to bring my uh, glasses. Well, I am very excited for you. I know I saw you at the uh, couple of booths and stuff last yeah. year. Yeah. Now, you have been a Wings of Strength brand ambassador since uh, 2019. Right? 2019, mm-hmm. and because I uh, I wasn't a brand ambassador in 2020 because I wasn't going to compete. But you but were because you went to the show. I so did. Well, still... I reached out to them, uh, um, and let's not up. change it. You're a Wings of Strength brand ambassador last three years. Yes, you good, enough, good enough. Yep. I, and I got to know, go to a couple of shows during 2020 when the rest of Los Angeles. We love was you up. so much because when you come out to the shows or just in general your social media, you're so much fun. You're Thank you. a, a you're funny as hell. You're a beautiful bodybuilder. Let, let me go a little bit back, and I'll come back to the Olympia thing. Yep. So when I first saw you, 2018, I'm at the Chicago, you know, pro show. They have the Miss International, and I don't, I didn't know who the people are, but I'm sitting in the audience, and I'm looking. And I see this beautiful blonde coming out, long hair, beautiful blue eyes, just very crazy, lean, grainy conditioning. And the way she posed, I was just like, oh my God, who is this woman? She can be something very special in women's bodybuilding. I was blown away. I was just like, I just couldn't stop watching because you're just so beautiful. You have a presence to you on the stage, plus your conditioning was crazy. And uh, you worked really hard. Now, yeah. behind that, you haven't competed in a long time, right? About Before four years. Four years. Yeah. So that was your, like, coming back. Back with a vengeance. Vengeance, which you obviously, every time you do a show, you're always 200%. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. And, you know, when I saw you, you won your pro card. You know, it was like, wow. And then you competed in Chicago, right? Yeah. The next day. The next day, yep. Right. And then you were already qualified for the Rising Phoenix, which is amazing because you win lots of, lots of money in the car. But what was that experience like when you won your pro card? Going through being off for four years and coming back, I mean, you were just smashingly gorgeous it, everything it was just an unforgettable Sorry. weekend um i remember you telling me the same compliments you just said and hearing that from you like people that i uh, i idolized and having uh, a number a number of the girls come up to me and say that and even people that weren't there messaging me and i'm like oh my god they even know who i am let alone you know are impressed and and full of nice things to say so that that alone was a big deal but I didn't think it through past pro card. I was just, you know, I had four years to do nothing but watch and observe, think about, um, you know, who am I, who am I going to coach? You know, who's going to be my coach? Um, what show am I going to do? And I was just laser focused, like mm-hmm. laser focused. There was nothing that was going to get in my way, and I couldn't control the results, but I knew that I was going to have to do everything possible so I wouldn't regret anything. Mm -hmm. So all I was thinking was win my class. I wasn't even thinking about overall. I just just kind of had this idea that uh, the heavyweight's going to win the overall. Right. Um, So I I don't know. I just, I wasn't thinking past It's not always a size game. I mean, even though a lot of them say it is, but it's what you bring the whole package. Well, and you know, honestly, some people wouldn't be heavyweight if they were in, if came in shape. Right. Right. A lot of people get so hung up on that. It's like, and big on numbers and weight and this and that. And it's like, well, you know, it's not all that, but. When you diet, do you look at the scale or is that like your least friend? I, I, not too much. So that year when I competed, I only lost 10 pounds. I was 10 pounds lighter than I was right after I had my daughter. Wow. So I had, I had to make weight, and I weighed right in the top. Of so the you pack. just had your daughter, and then how, like, how, how what was the oh, time? timeline? Yeah. So my daughter was a year and change when I got my pro card. So I yeah. had her and breastfed for, like, eight, nine months. So I about. can't say you have a, I mean, that's like a sensational mom bod. Like, a lot of women would love to have a body like that because you're, kicking ass I and mean, after having a kid and everything wow because your body was just uh i was worried about my body and really? i just I, I was but like 
I, I think that's, I think people, I don't want to piss off some people, I think some people use it as an excuse a little bit too much. I, I know we're so. all different. Our skin elasticity is different. Um, but I mean, I'm not like the lean year round type of person telling you that, you know, like I'm somebody that holds a lot of button leg fat and, uh. You do not have any fat. Shut not up. Right now, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, in general, you don't. I mean, you feel you're very curvy, very voluptuous in the off season. I mean, yeah. you're gorgeous. Thank you. You know, and I'm not just saying that just to say it. I speak my mind, and I call it as I see it. And, um, you know, I love your off season look, and I love your in condition. And that's the other thing too. Like to me, you're the queen of conditioning because when you come in stage ready, you're a grainy, and you're shredded. I mean, wow, the I legs feel are beautiful. I have to be. Yeah, well, of I, course. You know, um, everybody has their strengths or what they bring, and I can't be, I'm not somebody else. I'm only me, and I know what I have, and I have to take, like, what what can I do with what I have and make it best possible? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I'm five foot three, so there's... That's really tall, you know. And uh, <laughs> But, like, when you think about the top girls, they're uh, definitely a couple inches taller. The only top competitor who's about, my, you know, I mean, let's see, Alicia's sure, but she's not human. She's like, yeah, uh, she's not human. She's, <laughs> she's in a not, whole nother Alicia's planet. Not human, but, um, you know, I'm a little shorter and I just, I, you know, if I make myself big, I still need to make it look good on mm -hmm. stage. And you do. So I need to not look, I don't want to get thick in the middle. Right. That's going to just throw off everything sure. at my height. So I just, and I, I think, you know, I see the physique girls and they're pretty shredded and there's a lot of physique girls that are moving into bodybuilding. Right. And I just think, you know, you need to step it up a little bit. Yeah. A lot of them are transitioning over from bodybuilding. I wish we had more NPC competitors competing in bodybuilding. And hopefully I think, you know, with, within time we'll have more numbers back like we were. Yeah. Well, it's just a matter of them, you know, having enough NPC shows. Yeah, with the and division. promoting it as well. Like yeah. I mean, you really need to push it, which you do. You know, listen, if I was in the audience and uh, I saw you and I was just, you know, I was a fan of bodybuilding, I would look at you and be like, wow, I want to look like her because you're pretty, you got the aesthetics, and you just, you take, you obviously are very feminine and girly, which I love that because you're Thank always, you. <laughs> you know, um, but. When you took off for the year, yeah. did you diet throughout that year or did you just, uh, you know the, what? It was the best. <laughs> I dieted on martinis and goldfish crackers. Although I, goldfish started, okay, crackers. I started out with Cabernet and then I got a little tired of wine and I would switch to martinis. And I did go through a Captain Morgan and Diet Coke phase as well. Um, and goldfish crackers. Like I'd get like the family size thing and just like devour that in like a day or two. That was I, I'm tired of goldfish crackers, man. They, they serve that on the airplanes. Yeah, a little now. saltiness is good. A little bit of saltiness is good. You so. know the thing about the, the, I didn't have much of an appetite during, because I wasn't as active. Uh -huh. um, I, I mean, even when the gyms were still open, I, I didn't want to do cardio. You know, like when you're done sure. competing, you're yeah. like, okay, we'll, we'll visit cardio at another mm -hmm. point, but not now. Mm -hmm. I didn't really get back to the point where cardio was a thing because you know, it was like just March. I, I competed in the fall and it was only a few months later when you think about it. Mm -hmm. 
So, so when yeah. did you decide? Let me ask, because that's going back to the Olympia. Yes, I played that that's because I know that this is a very big dream that. of yours. You know, I, I'm, and I'm. I don't think I'm that original when it comes to this, but I'm very goal directed. Mm-hmm. And um, I mean, the challenge of that is making sure to enjoy the moment and be present and all yes. that stuff. And that's a work in progress, but. Um, and, and it's like that, not just in bodybuilding. It's it's everything. Oh, I right? I, I, I mean, can tell with you. you yeah, could, yeah. A lot of people. That's why you're so successful. So real quick, if, for our, our audience and fans watching, you are a very. That's another reason why I have a huge respect for you. Listen, people have this this thing about bodybuilders. Oh, they're just meatheads and this and that. No, you are a teacher. You've been a teacher for four, 18 years. 18 was. years. Yep. So now you're going for your MBA. Yep. So you were constantly hungry for knowledge and information and, and bettering yourself. Like you have your hands in every single pot that you can. Like you are a jack of all trades. And it's I respect a, It's that. kind of exhausting, but at the same point, I, I just. But you do it so well. I could never even tell it was exhausting. It's, well, I mean, I I make smart decisions like say, hmm, I'm not going to compete this right. year. You know, sure. like I think I think it's a good time. I think my body deserves it. I mean, I did really want. I went into 2020 wanting to make progress. I really did. It's just that I like to roll with the punches, and and what was happening was was COVID, and it just seemed like you know what, this is I'm. I don't have the type of schedule where I can drive 40 minutes to Ventura County sure. to some random gym and, oh, and train. Oh, is that how long it takes to go to the gym? For uh, well, no, but I know like some people like uh, that that are in my area, mm-hmm. like young people without children, where sure. you know, gym is life and all that. They're like, <laughs> you know, there's no excuses. I'm like, well, you know, live my life a little okay. bit. And make, yeah, it's like, well, you in the end, you have to do what's best for you. And and That's you it. know what though, I remember like some people that were training regularly and I'm like, I'm going to look better than in like two months. I know right. it sounds evil. I say no, that, but I know me and I know when I'm in, I mean, I, I went back to gym January 6th and I wasn't eating. So I went from eating like two meals of, you know, alcohol and goldfish to my six meals a day. I went up 15 pounds and somewhere between four and six weeks. And then they had the brand ambassador, um, uh, the application. Sure. So I filled out. And when they said, yes, I'm like, Oh, wait a minute. I got to pick a show now. So I look <laughs> at the calendar and I'm like counting the weeks and I'm like, Oh my God, I'm, I'm like putting back on, on muscle. I need to be cutting right, right now. Right. And I went switched to cutting and lost like 25 pounds in like what, two months, two, two, months, two and a half 25. months. Wow. That's very, well, I'm not surprised at you because you take your stuff very serious. I think you can be a very big threat in female bodybuilding. You know, I find that some of the girls, some of them make excuses a little bit with uh, coming in condition, condition, you know. But. Yeah. So when you were at the shows, because you were at a couple of shows, I've seen you, and uh, yeah. did you think, looking at the girls competting, man. Which is fun, by the I, way. You know, right. When you're there oh, yeah, and but you did, don't compete and you get to like enjoy it. You get to enjoy it. But did you think, man, I could have beat this one. I could have done this show and easily, you know. I mean, did, you th- did that cross your mind ever? Um, I... Did you miss the stage yes. when you're sitting? Yeah, and I, I don't necessarily think it when I'm at the show because I was, I was actually thinking specifically. I'm like, no, I think, uh, <laughs> I'm like, I think Baylor would have won a <laughs> New York Pro, you know. What I'm, right. But yeah, I I am so watching sometimes and going, you know, even even now, right? Like I'm like, I know I'm competing, and I'm like, I know I'm working in Puerto Rico. I should, I'd like to maybe do it. I think I'd be ready four weeks. You know, you can. Now. And. Uh, Listen, I'm, I'm if you're going to be work. there, I'm not trying to ruin I, I know you work with Shelby Starnes. Right? Well, Shelby's also, and it's happened in the past where I'm like, okay, which one of these? He always usually kind of wants to wait later and dig right. deeper because um, he's really all about your as lean as your fattest part. Sure. And, you know, I'll have somebody that will see me in the gym and like, oh, my God, you're ahead. You're this or that. I'm like, okay, I don't get really fat up here. So you're going to see me, and I'm going to have veins across my back and look grainy and stuff. I probably still have, like, cellulite on my ass, you know? And all I'm thinking of is right. that one part, when the judges are seeing a lot of great stuff, that bad part look is amplified. Sure. You know? And I think if sometimes... You, if you let them see that part, it's amplified. Well, well that's, that's where little, the now posing you magic... Now, Sheila Black. Yes. One of the best posers yep. around. I mean, I have... Sheila is phenomenal. Fen- breathtaking. So, I mean, I'm just going to throw this out there because I love you so much, and I always want to see you be very successful like mm-hmm. all my other Iron Sisters. 
I think that it would be a really cool move, maybe a warm up, just saying, if you did Puerto Rico, because I think you could do very well. And you know, have Sheila, hey, you know, what do you think of this? Really bring it, do some poses that are just really accentuate your body, something different that the people have not seen, the judges have not seen in a long time. You know, time. I'm working with Sheila on my routine. Right? I know. Oh. Okay, I, I didn't oh, know if you, I, you, I've you been were stalking you. Yourself. Okay, right. yeah. I've been stalking she's, you. She's, um, She's like can just pull like magic out of her butt like that. Yeah, it's she's a great woman. So, no, but I mean, it's one thing to be able to pose well. It's another thing to be able to like create something great. Just and for me, you know, mm-hmm. like she listened to my music and it went with. It wasn't just great um, posing. It was great posing for the music for me. And I wanted to be big on stage. Like even some of the motions. And yes. the stuff is dramatic, and I like that drama. Like, I mean, I... Listen, your routine that I saw, all your routines are flawless. And so I'm saying to you, if you came into Puerto Rico, you know, even with your... When you do your, uh, what is it, 90... Do we have 90 seconds? I forget. 60 seconds, 90 seconds, you're in the prejudging. Yep. That, you do a really nice routine with certain things in it. Carla. Holy oh, smokes. And then you come in the <laughs> night show... Blow my way, the beautiful blonde, the eye, you know, you're just, you're someone to watch. And I'm telling you this because I th- really think you can do very well there. Look, New York Pro, we just had, I don't know how you felt about it. The girls look great. You know, they all worked hard. It was a small, it was a it smaller was very show. Small so that show. part was a little disappointing. It, it but, was. No, as you know, you nobody know. wants to diet. Yeah. Sooner. And, and you know what? I, I regret. I was like, God, I, I wish. I was ready for that. It's you would just, have been Miss New York, probably. It's just uh, maybe, yeah. Huh? I mean, just saying. But Puerto Rico, listen, as a friend to a friend, I really think you should think about it. I think it'd be a great look. Puerto Rico and Bahamas, you would be a part of history. How many people can say, yeah, that time? You know, well, I have to say when I when I because I'm supposed to be working at that show, I was pretty excited because I got to do Puerto Rico in 2019. And now I'm like, oh, I'm going to go back and it's Bahamas. Like, it's definitely a It's a calling. Cool, it's a cool place to be. It is a very cool place. That's actually uh, when we were hanging out there yeah. and we got to see number 16. Absolutely. Yeah, was, that was so Never funny. forget that. Uh, <laughs> but with your prep, was it difficult starting with show when you, when did you decide, okay, you know what? I'm ready to compete. When you got the brand ambassador, that's when you're like, okay, now I got to pick the show. And now we're going to um, go for It was when ahead. I made the decision to resign. Okay. So the thing is, um, the, you know, I, I planned on resigning. I just didn't know when because I knew that I was going to, it was just holding me back from doing something else. And um, it was just a matter of when. And it was just the responsibilities were increasing. And it was taking away from me being able to put my all into grad school. Because I'm not just like getting the MBA. I really want to learn a lot. I want to sure. be able to, you know, take what I have and talk confidently about what I can do. And it was distracting me. So it was just a matter of like the job was just getting in the way. And I didn't know I was going to resign in the middle of the year. But once I did, I'm like, well, now now I can, you know, start taking care of myself again. Did you feel good? Did you feel like a bunch of... Uh bricks just came off your shoulders when you did that yep 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 yeah i mean people talk about like you know do i feel guilty this and that or you miss well sure i'm gonna miss the kids i mean i still keep in touch with the kids i'm sure some of them were the ones who voted for me in the the contest listen when i saw the video which can you please explain to our our viewers what is uh we're talking about here the wings of strength brand ambassador video thing what is that Okay, so the... Um, no judging, by the way. No, I'm actually like... Oh, you had a cute mug, too. Yeah, Scooby. Vodka. Uh, oh, God. I'm actually I'm having some jealous. tequila. I'm just Don't be jealous. Tell me how terrible it is. <laughs> I have like a bang energy drink somewhere. Maybe I'll go grab that. But, yeah, so the, the contest um, for when... Starting when the competitors are 10 weeks out, we're submitting one video each week. It has to be about 30 to 60 seconds, and there's a different theme. So the first theme um, for me was triceps. It could be abs, you know, different. It could be um, ab posing, but for the most part, they seem to be centered around exercises and body parts. 
and they're not supposed to be edited or professional, just one continuous clip. There really weren't any other guidelines. It didn't say whether it needed to be like instructional or anything like that. Your video, when I watched it, I've been watching and following, but man, when I saw yours, I was like, wow, I can, I can, I'd like to see more of these. You did, did, like, really, did you like my red onesie? Was that it? The onesie, <laughs> just how you, well you explained it. You were natural. You are very authentic. You looked really good and can, you know, obviously. Uh, and it I just thought, grabbed I thought the lighting me. in there is a little harsh on my face, but I was no, like. No, no, actually least, not at all. No, okay. I thought you were beautiful. I thought you, you just had everything going on. I was Thank like, you. there's your winner right there. You cool. know, no offense to the other people. But it is a competition. Well, you know, so. it, it, it is. But I mean, um, so, I mean, there's. Some people are um, great with social media. Some people are great with training. Some people love being on stage. There's different things that we like about the sport. And you I'm, like it all, don't you? I, I do, but I, yeah, I do. And it shows. the thing is, and I'm, I'm a teacher, right? So I'm on stage. I'm, I'm okay. I'm I like being on camera and talking and things like that. And um, lot, lots of even presentations in grad school. So something like that I'm okay with. So if you tell me, here's a video, I'm thinking... This, these are boring. I don't want to just watch you do lots of reps. <laughs> lots of reps. Yeah, that really is exciting. Boring. So I'm just thinking, logically speaking, it would make sense to introduce yourself, say what you're doing. Um, there, there could be instructions depending on what you're doing, but I think mine was just like a tricep push down thing that, you know, I really don't need to say that much. So the interesting thing is you're <laughs> also going into marketing, correct? Yeah. That's my, well, we have to pick a concentration and. Um, you would be very good. Cool. Absolutely. Just because of how you you can see, like, you know what people want. You know, you think like, okay, I would want this and that. So you did it. Like, you, well, you it's, won it's, me. It's, you're going to watch it the whole time. So you think about it. If you have a couple seconds, or you're just saying what you're doing, who you are, do something, and then follow it up. Mm -hmm. And following it up could be... Um, just that's all for this week. See you next week. Or thanks for watching. It'd be something as simple as just closing it. Or it could be just like teaching class, right? You want to have some closure to it. Or it would be make sense to just pose the body parts. You so, did great. You hit every single one. I, I did well. But I mean, at the end well. of the day, it is also uh, when you think about who's I question, you know, are people, are they all watching or some people just, you are. And I know, and I really appreciate the people that really, that did. I like, did because you, like, I agree with you. Like if I'm just seeing somebody working out, I'm not, in, I lose interest right there. Yeah. But you pulled me in. You kept on doing different things that pulled me in. So. I mean, at the end of the day, if you have like a ton of followers and you just ask them to like, they will do oh. it blindly. Um, so that's kind of the negative aspect meaning well okay so That's as a marketer really negative you always, i think about like who what you know what is what is our goal here and it's all just about the goal and it's about you know how are the athletes going to perceive this was the goal i remember jake had mentioned something about um imp the contest aspect would probably improve the quality of the videos so i i get that but i can also see it um for athletes maybe be dis disheartening if you are uh not like you know a have a huge following and you do a really great job imagine if we actually did have being able to edit and somebody hires a professional sure you could hire a professional or you could just be really popular and do it your cell phone and you yeah know, that's ask, a good point. ask your people right you say you're gonna you know post something whatever on your only fan i don't know just like, like there's so fans. many different ways that you can go about like when I was a teacher, um, and they would have those like and those different fit gems polls right. and the yeah, promoting that. real woman. If my name was on it, I'd clean up because I would just tell my students, "Hey, vote if for you me. want an A, hey, vote for me, or else you get an F." I wish I could do that. I can't, but still, if they like you, they will. So going to, to <laughs> your teaching now, what grade level were you teaching? Um, I t so for. 16 of the 18 years were high school. Somewhere in the middle, like when I moved to Los Angeles, I got a, my job at middle school. Just I was just happy to move and get hired right away. And middle school is like just evil. Did the, the students, now you're competing like when you did the 2018, so yeah. obviously you're teaching. Yep. So what was their thoughts when they're, 
did they be like, whoa, we got a buff teacher. Oh, she absolutely. kicked our ass. Yeah, they were so cool about it. What um, were some of the comments you'd get from them? Uh, well, some of them were like blown away because they remember me pregnant. And wow. then and they're like, oh my God, I had, and I had one like one year and then the next. And they were like, okay, I had you pregnant and now <laughs> I have you like this. Um, you know, sometimes I try and like, cover up a little bit but you know i'm in the you can the see val- it through your clothes yeah i mean it, it's hot in los angeles right. so how i'm even if you're covered up it's like you're not going to walk out of your classroom i'm in a i was in a bungalow so outside my classroom is outside and it's like 110 degrees wow, or something right. so they're seeing veins everywhere yeah. did they freak some of them like freak out like oh my god you wow. might catch them like kind of like staring at staring it. Did anyone have a crush on you? Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. I knew it. Over. Yeah. So I mean, I've been teaching for 18 years. So you imagine I was 23. You know, I was wow. in my early 20s. Oh my so you gosh. Have, and yeah. So of course they'll hit like their late 20s. <laughs> and now the beautiful be. blonde, and now she's got the muscles and all that stuff. But you know, I would get questions from athletes a lot. Um, I remember I had one kid in my class didn't say a word, and then comes up. He's like, I have a question. I'm like, Yeah, how can I help you? He's like. Who do you think is going to win the Olympia this wow, year? Wow, that's cool. Like, all right, okay. And then they had another question a few weeks later about, like, which protein powder should I use? Which protein powder? I love that. Ne- never anything about class. So you're the superstar. See, that's so cool. I I really applaud that. And thank you for all you did for the kids and stuff as a teacher. Because that's a hard, it's a very hard job, you know. And It's, it's just very, you're on. Mm-hmm. You're very on, right? Mm-hmm. And then you, and you take it home. Right. So that's the difficult part is, you know, some people are at work and they might be texting and posting pictures or getting back, you know, doing other things that aren't just their work Mm -hmm. Um, or they leave work and they're done. So, and there's a lot of people that don't, but a lot of those are making pretty, you know, better money. Well, again, (laughs) with you and anything you pursue, you're always 200%, always. You're a fighter, you know, and you have a lot of passion, you know, and that says a lot about you as a person. You're very insightful. Well, You're I the just, empath. I'm the empath. Yeah. There we go. Joe Weider's Olympia here in Orlando, Florida. A little bit strange coming out of Las Vegas for all of those years. Good evening. And welcome to the event that nearly never happened. There's been an absence of a particular group of people on this stage that are back tonight. Tonight I'm here to say, welcome back to Miss Olympia. Uh, but like I said, it's, you're an incredible woman. And uh, thank you. again, thank you for all you do. And thank you for being such a big, 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 big contribute to women's bodybuilding. I'm so happy that you are one of our brand ambassadors because you really represent very well. And I want to talk about your fans real quick because yeah. you also are, you have a lot of fans and they love you because you're so genuine. Like you don't turn your, you know, you don't turn your back to some of the fans. You're there for them. Uh, I'm nicer in person. You're nicer in person. <laughs> Well, no, I mean, at the same point with social media, there is time and boundaries that, and I'm, and I'm pretty good with being able to, can you give me one fan story that just really melted your heart that you're just touched by, you're just touched by the comment or maybe they sent you something or they did something for you that's just like, wow, I can't believe this fan did this for me. Um, Oh, geez, there's like I got a lot. you off there's guard. A, yeah, it is. Because I'm thinking there's a lot of things. Like I've had, um, First thing comes I've had mind. fans send me um, gifts when I had a baby. I thought that was that like was send me very onesies. Nice. Oh, that was really that's sweet. very sweet, yes. Um, I've had, I don't want to say fan because it's, it's a, another competitor, but still fan, right? Sure, so I've never met sure. in person. Send cases of um, Magnolia Bakery, banana, huh. thought that banana pudding okay to rising phoenix from they're from that canada very and nice. sent it to the hotel huh. the thank you by the way uh speaking of off topic as i'm a fan as well i really think you should bring back that photo shoot with the sword the samurai sword 
Oh, I like weapons. And, yeah. And so what's like the? So posing. you did martial arts, right? As a kid, yeah. As a kid, I did. Do you have an infatuation with samurais? Do I have? I don't know if I'd say an infatuation, but I, I saw definitely, you recently had a book that you read. You know what? I do actually. Are you a secret samurai? Like a I feel like I should samurai? be. Like if you want to do a skit that involves me being a samurai. This outfit you have on is like. This is a little. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think there might be. You might be onto something because Sheila had put this thing in a in my posing, where you know I'm kind of on the ground at, and at one point I I'm like out and then I come up and then I'm. Whoosh, and I hit like this thing. I'm like, oh, ooh, that's kind of that's a little like a sword. It's a little ninja like. Yeah, it's a little ninja like. Okay, Miss Catwoman slash ninja slash samurai. Yeah. That was you know, very insightful of you. Wow, I'm just paying attention to certain things that I see. But uh, real quick, can you give us a peck dance? Like I saw, yeah. <laughs> My God, I wish I could do that. What are your do goals that, uh, for the <laughs> Olympia? What is your ultimate like? I know you will qualify this year. There's no doubt in my mind. So see, you're so confident. I don't. I am very confident. I, it's I know not what that I, I see. I'm not confident. I really think. I, I don't have delusions of grandeur in general, right? I think I know. I and when, if it sounds like I'm being negative about stuff, I don't think so because I I know a lot of good things that I bring to the table. Um, you're a perfectionist, so I understand where you're coming from, why you're it's, thinking the way you are. It's that, and I, and I also, like, I'm never somebody to feel they got robbed or something like that. Oh, yeah, I, I hate I always that. believe to be undeniable. Right. Um, but, you know, there are things you can't control. You don't know who's showing up. I mean, I did Chicago in 2019. I was an expect. I got third. I was so happy because, I don't know, Andrew Shaw got second, Alicia got first. I have these amazing Look, competitors these at amazing my show. People, right. Yeah, like, I was, ha I was pretty happy with that. But um, And you've been on the Rising Phoenix stage, which, again, the Rising Phoenix is like our Arnold Classic. Yes. You know, so it's obviously invite only, and you've been a part of that, which yeah. is prestigious. You know? So I didn't apply because, as you're saying, what were my goals? So Again, strategically speaking, um, I, I know one thing that I do have challenge with is dieting for a long period of time. Me too. And um, my body will tell me, my body will give up before my will does. You know, I'll be fighting along, my body will is just give me a big F you by a sending big a F message. You. A big F you. <laughs> um, by just, you know, pretty much. So. I'm thinking about times and timeline and what I have in me and what it would take to qualify. So the, the goal for me is is to make it to the Olympia. Absolutely. You know, that's that's the goal yeah. at this point. Like I said, I think Puerto Rico, warm up maybe. And then, I mean, if you feel comfortable looking at you now in Puerto Rico, I think you can pull it off. Absolutely. 100%. I, again, I don't say things because just to say it. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking for likes or this and that. I'm just calling it as I see it and what I feel. So I think you should do the Puerto Rico Pro. If you don't feel, you know, then you got Chicago. And, you know, I would love to qualify. The the, the ideal goal would, would be the win. Uh, Winning a show. Always. I mean, because I don't know how many, I guess, how it works with the points. Very few people. Top three. So when you're doing the points, just just say, I'm going to say you're going to win. All right? Mm -hmm. But if you don't, you come in second, third. You always, at least third. That's good. You're going to keep the points up. Mm -hmm. The higher the points, I think they pick five the top ones get into the Olympia. Yeah. So what happened last year was a lot of people were doing multiple shows and then the points were racking up and this and that. But with you, you won't have to do that. But I see you at the Olympia, so let's just fast forward. And I'm, what is your ultimate goal there? Like what, what kind of package would you like to bring? Okay, I like that you put it that way and say my ultimate goal, because again, just like when I turned pro and my, I didn't conceive making my debut the next day, you know, I didn't conceive being on the Rising Phoenix stage eight weeks later. Like, my mind was just like, get pro card. Right. Which, by the way, is probably why I did well on my debut, because I was not even thinking about it. I was actually just having a good time and having fun. All I knew was like, I was like, okay, cool. I'll probably not place last because I won the overall. Like, I was literally just thinking that. And then when I got off stage and Shelby's like, looks like you're probably in the top five. I'm like, no. Um, Shelby has a good eye. He knows. Yeah, stuff. he said that like going into it. I'm like, okay. But as for um, the the Olympia, um, I think, and I don't know if I'm, I'm not raising the bar high enough for myself. But in terms of a goal, it would be to bring a really good 
me because I haven't been able to diet long and bring something good. So even at the 2018, that wasn't your best. One of your one of your best. Oh yeah, neither of uh, no. really okay because um it was just I thought you looked ph- phenomenal. You did, and I, did. I mean I was I was happy. I mean right? you just you just everything like I said to me my opinion, and I used to be a judge, and I just there's certain things I look for. You know, the, the aesthetics, obviously conditioning, and then beauty, and then how the, they present that beauty, yeah. the whole thing. And I think thought you were really good there. Like, I watched it again, your posing routine. I was just like, wow, you know. Real quick, okay. you are from Jersey, right? I am, yeah. That's why you got that fiery attitude. Yeah. It's Don't like, fuck with me. Yeah, I know. It's Where in Jersey? Um, I'm trying to think of close to, uh, close to Newark Airport area. Oh, boy. Union County. Oh, right. Union County. Like, right. we're the area where you commute to Manhattan for work and want to uh-huh. live in the Burbs with right. the backyard. Huh. So I grew up in that. Better area. off in Cali. I love Cali. That's like my place. Now, uh, is your mo- who, where do you get your athletic genetics from? That's a tough one. Um, well, tough one. Well, no, because, I mean, I don't want to rob my mom. My mom's like 90 pounds and like four foot 11. So, but I don't want to take away. My mom can, she's an amazing dancer. Um, she can, you know, she just. Well, she, she has, has a, a dance background. She's a professional well, dancer. No, um, but she's just one of those people where she can learn something quickly and pick it up and just has ah. a rhythm. Like she doesn't embarrass you when she dances. Right. Doesn't do weird mom dance. Um, mom. What's mom's the okay. weird mom dance? You know, like I'm trying, how's the mom dance? And are you, you Italian, kind of di- Irish? Yes. Yeah, like everybody in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. no, my, my father used to bring me to the gym. Like growing up and stuff, and he and my brother were into training, and, and that's how you got involved. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I was a daddy's girl, and I liked the best. I want so, for example, I was put in tap and ballet, and my oh. brother was put in karate. I would sit and watch him. I learned all the katas. I, you know, I was like, just everything about it. I was studying, and I wasn't even in the class. So my father let me drop out of dance and join karate, and I was like kicking ass and winning competitions and, and um, pissed my brother off. By the way, I got a bone to pick with you. Okay. Yes. So yesterday we were at dinner, you know, we go to dinner, have what a little thing. Do? And I was talking about Ashy Larry from the Dave Chappelle show. I, mi- I didn't hear this. Have you, yeah. I was well, asking, yeah. yeah. I was mentioning, Hey, do you know Ashy Larry? Cause we're talking about the ashiness and stuff. But anyway, sure. you actually, I couldn't believe this. Oh, you I you know that I met him. You freaking met uh, Donnell Rawlings. Yeah, he was in Ashy LA Larry. somewhere. Yeah, I, Ashy Larry. Ashy Larry. She met him. Yeah, I must have been. I might be drunk in a picture. It's not you a good picture, drunk. but you know how it is. You look very happy. I look happy. That's all that matters. It's a good one. But Ashy Larry, man, that guy, he is hilarious. So I'm very jealous because I thought he was very funny. Yeah, now, he is I want to do a quick fan questionnaire with you, if you don't mind, do you have some time for me? I, I could do these. I mean, okay. they're probably, if they're the if they're the cheesy lame questions, I might have a. Do you have an OnlyFans or only mm. flans? I would love an only flans. <laughs> I don't have one. Um, it, but I mean, it probably it could probably be a problem with right. a job. I would like one and just have like feet on it or something. That would feet. be only feet. Yeah, you could do that. Only I'm wondering feet. if that'd be okay. You would make a ton of money because, look, people yeah, feed. It only could be feet. Only thumbs. It don't matter. These people, they, there's so many weird fetishes out there. Look, there there's are guys who like to dress up in diapers Yeah. And, and be held in their arms, you know, and da-da, mama, you know, whatever. Anyway, moving on. What's your weight? One. Uh, wait a minute. Let me guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm really good with numbers. I remember I'm 5'3". 5'3", 225. Yeah, you're right. I'm 225. I am? Yeah. No. What's your number weight? Real seriously. Right now, uh, low 150s. That's really good. What are you? Do you have an objective weight that you want to be at for the contest, or it doesn't matter? Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, okay. It doesn't. It'll what, probably be a couple pounds What later. age did you start bodybuilding? Um, I believe 31. Do you enjoy the competitive? 31? Yeah. So... Not only you're a phenomenal bodybuilder, <laughs> not only you're a phenomenal body, but you actually started at a at a, at a later time. Yes, I wasn't and like you know that's the prime time, thirties, forties, yeah. when you're really you know the muscles are starting to pop. Yeah, I wasn't training. Uh, I wasn't even training regularly until late twenties. Mm-hmm. Wow. I, uh, 
do you enjoy the competitive aspect of the sport or do you just do it for yourself? Well, definitely. I was just wondering, like, what do you mean do it for myself? I, I, if I was going to do it for myself, like I would you just don't kinda, care. You I know? would just I wouldn't want to get on stage, <laughs> not even just because of the ex, I mean, not only is it expensive and time consuming, but it's very expensive. It's, the competitive thing is why I do it. Mm hmm. What's the hardest part about working out? Um, trying to think if it's, there's nothing, the workouts in itself, I wouldn't say there's anything hard unless I have to do cardio after and I'm very depleted and I just need the energy to get through it. Mm -hmm. And time management. Okay. Yeah, time is a very... Right, time management. We don't have enough time. That's my biggest complaint right now. There's yeah. not enough time. I wish I had more time. Susanna, is there anything you want to say to your sponsors, your, your wings of strength, uh, your, your ultimate fans, your family, your daughter? Is there anything you'd like to say to wow, them? Wow, those are just so many people. But uh, <laughs> Well, make it short. Yeah. Make it short. Okay, make it short. Honestly, just, just thank you. You know, I mean, thank you so much, especially Wings of Strength. And you guys, I mean, this is really cool. I mean, I'm just really excited to be here and to be a part of this. And um, You're a part of a very great thing at Wings of Strength. Yeah, I'm very proud of it. You mm -hmm. know, people talk about uh, different sponsors, and nobody feels quite the way they feel about... Um, their sponsor is it, as us ladies feel about wings of strength. Like we're truly part of, of you guys, mm -hmm. you know? So I would love to see Sheila and you come up with a badass routine where you win the posing award. Absolutely. Too, so That's is there anything you want to say to your fans? Anything else you want to say to your fans and stuff? Oops. <sighs> um, I, do I look at them now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, just, just thank you for, for supporting me. And, um, you know, I'm, uh, and thank you for voting for me. I, that really means a lot. I feel like um, I'm not the the biggest influencer out there. I've been very wrapped up in you know my my job and that sort of stuff, and not really putting myself out there on social media. And I'm doing uh, a better job now, I think, and I'm engaging more. And it seems to be really well received. And I feel I'm happy that I'm doing it because I'm definitely getting more motivation and. Um, I don't know. I'm looking to, to win this year and make you guys well, proud. Give your fans a big bicep, double bicep pose for them and maybe some pec flexing if you want. Look at that. Jesus. How do I look? Thank God I have a long <laughs> sleeve dress on. Looks great. How can we find you on Instagram and all that good stuff? Oh, so I'm easy. It's just Susanna You're easy. underscore. Well, that's. We'll talk you heard about, it here first. We'll talk about that later. Okay. Um, Susanna underscore Jacobs on Instagram. That's the best okay. place to find me. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Susanna. By the way, this was not, I don't know if you knew this or not, but this was water. You didn't give me the reaction I wanted. I'm very disappointed. Well, you poured it. I thought you were actually drinking. I mean, I no. would have. I've done stuff like that in class. Vodka? Well, yeah, we all do. In front of your kids? No, not while oh. teaching in grad school. Okay. All right. Well, Fit Rockstar, <laughs> that's it. Uh, Till next time, signing off. Thank you, Susanna. You're welcome. Thank you.